Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Mazda announced today a major update to its mid-term management plan and basic management policies up to 2030, which is now more electrifying than ever. The Japanese company said that it recognizes the significant changes that have occurred in the business environment and intends to accelerate its electrification efforts. Mazda outlined a plan to become carbon neutral worldwide by 2035 in its updated electrification strategy through 2030, which is based on three phases. Phase 1, 2022-2024. Enhanced technology development for the age of electrification phase 2. 2025 to 2027 transition to electrification phase 3 2028 during the second phase mazda will introduce a few new things including a new hybrid system ev dedicated vehicles for the chinese market and the launch of battery ev vehicles globally in the second half of this phase The third phase is crucial because it will bring the full-fledged launch of battery EVs from Mazda. The company forecasts that in 2030, battery electric car sales, globally, will be between 25% and 40% of its total volume, up from 25% expected previously. Some might be disappointed that Mazda is not going 100% electric by 2030, like, for example, Volvo but it seems that the company is gradually changing its course. There is a new scalable EV architecture, which will become the foundation for probably several new global all-electric models. Currently, Mazda's plug-in lineup is rather small, with the Mazda MX-30 BEV, Mazda CX-60 PHEV, over 20,000 sold in Europe so far. Next year, it will be joined by the Mazda MX-30 REV, a version with a range extender. More plug-ins will be introduced in the following years. An interesting element of the new strategy is that Mazda might engage in EV battery production. Mazda said that, in addition to its existing suppliers, it signed an agreement with Envision AESC related to battery supply for EVs produced in Japan. In the third phase, 2028 to 2030, the company will consider investing in battery production, which indicates the possibility of a battery joint venture. There is no word about the potential battery partner. Mazda will continue to procure batteries from its partner companies. Thanks for watching. Credits to InsideEVS.com and Spied Build LLC. Please like my video and subscribe EVpedia for more electronic vehicle news and updates.